Hello, and welcome to Untwisted Threads. This is Hobby Friends Extra Fine Merino. Originating from Denmark, this 100% superwash merino wool yarn features 50 colors. The colorway that we chose is 52 dusty rose, and exactly as the name suggests, a light pink color. This 50 gram skein with 165 meters or 180 yards works up as a sport weight yarn. The label suggests using a 3 to 3.5 millimeter needle, but today I'm using a 4 millimeter needle size for our swatch. In today's video, we're going to review and score Friends Extra Fine Merino by Hobby using our five categories, which are availability, softness, traction, durability, and cost to help you decide if this is the best yarn for you in your next project. Let's get started. For availability, we give Hobby Friends Extra Fine Merino a score of one out of five. Located in Copenhagen, Denmark, Hobby is an online craft store that features multiple different name brand lines of yarn in addition to other yarn brands as well. Friends Extra Fine Merino is a yarn that was released by Hobby and is only sold on their website. However, they do offer worldwide shipping and it didn't take too long for me to receive this yarn here in the United States. For softness, we give it a score of 5 out of 5. It's no secret that I love merino yarn, but I think I have found a new love with this one. If you're looking for a yarn that is super springy and soft, you definitely should consider trying this yarn out. It's soft, but I wouldn't say that it's too soft if that makes any sense. It's an enjoyable softness that makes me want to knit a garment with this yarn. Its wavy fibers are spun with a high twist, giving it an amazing stitch definition as well. It doesn't have a lot of loose fibers, making it a great option for garments for children. The 100% superwash merino content of this yarn, approximately a 15 to 25 micron count, is known for its next to skin softness. Now I am drawn to merino yarns and highly recommend them because of their softness and I really enjoyed working with this one. Merino yarns, especially superwash merino yarns, do have a tendency to stretch and grow when blocking and wearing. If you knit a swatch before starting a project, you can use this growth and bloom to your advantage because you won't have to knit as long of sleeves or a body because it will grow. For traction, we give it a score of 5 out of 5. Friends was a dream to knit with. The roundness of the strand of yarn made knitting each stitch so easy and seamless. I know we've tried out a few other bouncy merino yarns like Mila Mia Naturally Soft Merino and more recently King Cole Luxury Merino, but from the yarns we've reviewed so far, this is the bouncy merino yarn I would pick next to work with. It would absolutely be a yarn to choose if you want to seamlessly knit while watching a movie because your needle or hook won't get caught on any loose fibers or twists of the yarn. If you're a beginner knitter, maybe try knitting this yarn with bamboo needles and that could give a little bit more traction. For me personally, I loved using my nickel plated needles because I felt like I was speeding through my stitches. For durability, we give it a score of 4 out of 5. Often softer yarns like merino don't hold up well to wear and tear on their own and are prone to pilling. However, because this yarn has four plies of fiber spun together, that gives it an added amount of strength. The superwash treatment added to this merino yarn allows you to wash the yarn without worrying about it felting together, again making it ideal for children's garments. Nylon is often added with merino wool to give it more strength and durability, but this yarn doesn't include that, making the merino a little bit more fragile on its own. So since this is a softer yarn, I suggest choosing a project that maybe won't experience a lot of friction, like an oversized garment or cardigan. Yes, as much as I rave and recommend merino yarns, they aren't a hardy or workhorse kind of fiber. But for something more special or for ease of washing, I do recommend merino, especially this one. 
For cost, we give it a score of 3.5 out of 5. For being a 50 gram skein of superwash treated extra fine merino wool, you can expect to pay $7.50 US per skein. So if you're wanting to make a size medium sweater with this yarn, you're looking at a cost of approximately $60, not including the international shipping costs and the time to receive it. So I would say this is a mid-cost merino yarn. It's not the most budget-friendly, but if you sign up to the Hobie website, you may be able to use a discount code or be able to purchase this yarn on sale. But even regular priced, I still think you're getting a pretty good price that won't break the bank. Overall, we give Friends Extra Fine Merino a score of 3.7 out of 5. I really have nothing wrong to say about this beautifully merino yarn. I enjoyed its soft hand, its incredible stitch definition, its bounciness, and ease to work with. I appreciate that if I work with this yarn again, I would know exactly how it's going to act and it would be a breeze of a project. I would love to see more earthy tones in this yarn collection, like a caramel or an olive green, maybe even a terracotta, but that's just me being picky with the yarn colors that I like. So I spend some time on Ravelry and want to share a few project recommendations, hopefully to inspire you if you're wanting to use Friends Extra Fine Merino for a project of your own. This first pattern is by Sari Nordlin and is called the Sveaborg Hat. I noticed a knitter was using the white colorway to knit this hat, and I think that with a combination of the structure of the yarn, texture, and the cables in the pattern, it just looks so neat and clean. Now, I don't think of hats being as a high friction project to knit, so I think that this would be a great pattern option to knit with this yarn. The next pattern, actually released in August of this year, was designed with Friends Extra Fine Merino, held double with the matching kid silk mohair. It's called the Edgar Slipover by Johanna Garish. This pattern is a v-neck oversized slipover or vest with twisted rib detailing on the collar, hem, and sides and feature a split hem at the bottom. The merino yarn gives this lightweight slipover so much beautiful drape and it's not important but how beautiful is the rust colorway that she chose for her sample? By adding the mohair with the merino it not only achieves a larger gauge but it adds strength to the merino as it's more delicate on its own. Now this last pattern wasn't designed with friends, but I think it would look really beautiful and it's called Ramble by Andrea Mowry. It's an asymmetrical shawl featuring garter stripes and a brioche herringbone pattern that will make you want to keep on knitting. I think with the combination of the structure of this yarn and its color range, it would make such a beautiful and squishy shawl. I recommend choosing two colors with a high contrast, like the navy and white used in the sample, to really ensure that the stitches and design of the shawl will really stand out. Have you used Hobie Friends Extra Fine Merino yarn before? What yarn would you like for us to do a review on next? We would love to hear your thoughts and recommendations in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's review, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.